$13 billion. That's the price tag on what might be the most consequential partnership in artificial intelligence history. But today, that partnership stands at the center of a legal battle that could fundamentally alter how AI is developed. I'm talking about Microsoft, OpenAI, and a lawsuit that has the entire tech industry watching closely. The numbers are staggering, but to truly understand what's at stake, we need to turn back the clock. It's December 2015. AI technology is promising, but hasn't yet transformed our daily lives. Sam Altman and Elon Musk gather with a group of tech visionaries, sharing a growing concern about the future of artificial intelligence. Their response? A bold commitment of $1 billion to create OpenAI, deliberately structured as a non-profit organization. Why a non-profit? The answer lies in their fundamental belief that artificial intelligence should benefit all of humanity, not just a select few corporations. Musk had been particularly vocal about AI risks. At an MIT symposium just a year earlier, he'd warned that advanced AI could pose greater risks than nuclear weapons. These weren't just casual remarks. They formed the foundation of OpenAI's original mission. Those early years painted a picture of genuine idealism in action. OpenAI published their research openly. They shared their code freely. Top talent flocked to join them, leaving prestigious positions at Google, Facebook, and leading universities. By 2019, they'd established themselves as the conscience of the AI industry, a beacon of responsible development in a field often criticized for its secrecy. But then came the pivot that would change everything. In March 2019, OpenAI announced a transformation that sent shockwaves through the tech community. They were creating OpenAI LP, a for-profit entity. The official explanation was straightforward enough. Advancing AI technology had become too expensive for a purely non-profit structure. Not everyone embraced this change. Several early employees walked away, worried that OpenAI was drifting from its founding principles. Internal debates raged about maintaining the organization's original values while pursuing the resources needed for growth. These discussions, now part of the court record, reveal the tension between idealistic goals and practical necessities. Enter Microsoft. Their initial $1 billion investment in July 2019 seemed like a standard tech industry partnership. But what followed was anything but standard. By 2021, the collaboration had evolved into something far more comprehensive. Microsoft gained exclusive access to OpenAI's GPT-3 language model for their Azure cloud platform. That $1 billion investment grew to $13 billion by 2023. The impact on the AI industry was immediate and profound. Think about these numbers. This partnership now powers AI features for over 100 million users across Microsoft's products. They control roughly 70% of enterprise AI implementations. GitHub, owned by Microsoft and enhanced by OpenAI's technology, influences the work of more than 40 million developers worldwide. But perhaps the most dramatic effect has been on talent acquisition. We're seeing compensation packages that would have seemed unbelievable just a few years ago. Senior AI researchers are being offered base salaries of two to three million dollars annually. Add equity packages worth up to seven million, performance bonuses that could double total compensation, and research budgets of five to ten million per team. For smaller companies and research institutions, competing has become nearly impossible. A recent survey of 200 AI startups tells the story. Almost two-thirds can't keep their key technical talent. More than three-quarters struggle to secure funding. Nearly half have had to scale back their research ambitions. One in three is considering selling out to larger companies. Let's talk about what it actually takes to develop cutting-edge AI today. Training a model like GPT-4 reportedly cost over $100 million in computing resources alone. The infrastructure requirements are staggering. Specialized hardware, custom-designed chips, advanced cooling systems, and proprietary networking technology. 
Microsoft's Azure platform provides OpenAI with over a million GPU cores dedicated to AI training. The energy consumption rivals that of small countries. This brings us to Musk's lawsuit. Filed in 2024, his allegations are specific and sweeping. Anti-competitive practices in hiring, improper sharing of competitive information, violation of OpenAI's original charter, breach of fiduciary duty by early board members, and monopolistic control of essential AI infrastructure. The legal proceedings have pulled back the curtain on this partnership, revealing joint development teams working across company boundaries, shared access to proprietary research, coordinated strategic planning, and integrated decision-making processes for technology direction. The academic community has raised alarming concerns. We're seeing a 40% reduction in PhD candidates choosing academic careers. Industry academic research partnerships have fallen by more than half. Independent AI safety research funding has plummeted by 65%. Open source contributions to major AI projects have dropped by 70%. Other tech giants have taken notice. Google emphasizes its continued commitment to open research. Amazon calls for regulatory oversight. Apple maintains strategic silence while building its own capabilities. Meta has increased investment in open source AI initiatives. Regulators are paying attention too. The FTC is reviewing AI industry competition standards. The EU is developing specific AI development guidelines. Congress is considering new AI-specific antitrust legislation. International bodies are proposing global AI governance frameworks. Looking ahead, industry analysts see several possible outcomes. OpenAI might return to nonprofit status. Microsoft could spin off its AI division. We might see new industry-wide requirements for research sharing. Or perhaps we'll see a regulated integration, mandatory licensing of key technologies, required research sharing, open access to training infrastructure, and regulated pricing for AI services. This case forces us to grapple with fundamental questions about technological progress. Can breakthrough innovation occur without massive resources? How do we balance commercial interests with public benefit? What role should early founders play in evolving organizations? How can we ensure ethical AI development at scale? For those watching this case, there are ways to engage. Participate in public comment periods. Support independent AI research initiatives. Contribute to open source AI projects. Engage with policy discussions. Advocate for research transparency. The resolution will likely establish precedents far beyond artificial intelligence. It will influence how we approach all transformative technologies in the future. As we watch this legal battle unfold, remember, this isn't just about corporate competition. It's about who shapes the technologies that will define our future. The tech industry is watching. Policymakers are taking notes. And the direction of artificial intelligence hangs in the balance. This pivotal moment will determine not just how we develop AI, but how humanity approaches technological innovation for generations to come.